The ethnic makeup of Imperial Japan's military is often thought of as homogenous, or being just Japanese. Which isn't true. Koreans, Chinese, and others were also part of the armed forces. In this video, we're going to focus on the others, specifically Russians, that served Imperial Japan. During the end of the 19th century, Tsar Nicholas II would extend the Russian Empire's power into Manchuria, which brought them into conflict with Imperial Japan, who also had interests in the area. Negotiations would break down in 1904, leading to what would be known as the Russo-Japanese War. And what would shock the Western world? The result was a Japanese victory and Japanese control of Port Arthur, a Russian naval base in Manchuria. It should come to no surprise that a good number of ethnic Russians also lived here. Though it might surprise you to know that they were free to travel back and forth to and from Russia. This continued until the Bolshevik Revolution of 1917 to 1923, where the Red Army defeated the White Russians, which was more or less a political party. This led to thousands of Russians fleeing to Manchuria away from the persecution of the Red Soviets, and many of these people were soldiers who had been on the losing side. In 1932, Manchuria would be renamed Manchukuo by the Japanese after the Mukden incident of 1931, and a pro-Japanese puppet government was put in place. This new government now needed an army, and the Japanese oversaw recruitment. This attracted quite a few of the Russians living there, as many of them needed work and had experience as soldiers and well-hated communists. The Japanese felt that these men were being wasted in the Manchukuo army. In 1936, these men were taken out of the Manchukuo army by the Japanese, and by 1938, they were reformed into specialist units, later known as the Asano Brigade. These soldiers had privileges that others didn't, which include special training, as well as better equipment, such as Type 14 pistols, Type 38 rifles, Type 32 saber, and imported MP34 submachine guns. As for their uniform, they would receive the Type 98 Japanese infantry uniform. The Asano Brigade's primary job would be to act as saboteurs and as reconnaissance. The brigade, at its largest, numbered only 3,500, and at its smallest, 800. Now, it should be noted that the higher-ups in the Japanese army praised the members of the Asano Brigade for their anti-communist fanaticism. As far as their combat records go, that's a bit of a mystery. In 1938, they saw combat against the Soviets in the battles of Lake Kassan and Kalkingo. There's some evidence that their sole job during these battles was just to keep the routes of communication open between the different Japanese units fighting the Soviets. While others say that they were actually put on the front line themselves and wreaked havoc on the Soviet army, in spite of taking over 800 casualties themselves. Honestly, it could be either or a mix of these. In 1941, with Japan's ally, Germany, launching Operation Barbarossa against Russia in the West, there were some in the Japanese military that wanted an air shot at Russia. By launching an attack from the east, it was believed that they could catch Russia by surprise and force it into a two-front war that it could not win. Now, if you want to explore this topic, I actually did a video on that hypothetical. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment down below. Now, to prepare for this invasion, 400 members of the Asano Brigade were chosen and given even more special training. They were then sent into Russia disguised as civilians or as Soviet soldiers. These men then started to destroy property and actually kill Russian civilians. The goal was to cause unrest within Russia and possibly spark rebellion. Now, whatever success they did or didn't have is a mystery. Of course, by 1943, the Germans were starting to be pushed back, and at the same time, the Pacific War wasn't really going favorably for the Japanese. Japan had started pulling out its soldiers from Manchuria to use on other fronts, with the members of the Asano Brigade taking their place. This essentially ended the brigade, and they were now known simply as the Russian detachment of the Manchurian Imperial Army. In 1945, Soviet Russia launched an invasion into Manchuria. Now, I have seen some say that the Asano members were killed by the Japanese due to their race, but I actually haven't seen anything to prove that. 
What actually happened to them is a bit unknown. Western sources say that the Soviet executed any Russian living within Manchuria on site, while Russian sources say that they gave them the opportunity to join the Soviets. But what do you think? Leave me your thoughts down below. I'll see you next time.